Hey guys, it's Julia from Sunscreen Crafts. Today I'm on the Alleyway Stamps YouTube channel sharing a Halloween card that I created using a couple of their stamp sets. You guys know if you've been following my channel that I've been on kind of a obsessive binge with the um, Alleyway Stamps Ghoul Friends stamp set. I've been loving my Halloween cards this year and I've been using pretty much exclusively that set. It has so many awesome stamps in it. This time I wanted to pull in another stamp set that came out earlier in the summer. It's called Penguins on Parade and basically you get this little penguin stamp in the stamp set as well as a whole bunch of costumes that you can dress your little penguin up wearing. So I thought that it would make a really fun Halloween card to dress this little penguin up a few times in different costumes. So to begin I'm stamping the penguin onto some watercolor paper. I'm using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink because I plan to watercolor these images and I'm going to heat emboss them first. So the VersaFine ink is great because it really holds, um, it really stays um, wet and tacky long enough for you to put the embossing powder on and you'll see I haven't actually even added any embossing powder yet but I will add a little in a minute. I am stamping on the accessories. Like I said, the Penguins on Parade stamp set comes with a whole bunch of different costumes and accessories that you can dress these little penguins up. And um, my first penguin here, I'm making a little pig. So I masked off the beak of the penguin so that I could use this really cute little um, round mask for his little snout and then I stamped on the spots I'm adding a tail and then there's also even a little accessory with little hair and ears so I kind of went overboard on this penguin but I just couldn't stop because all of these little piggy accessories are just too cute to pass up so at this point I was feeling like my ink was probably getting a little bit dry so I should definitely sprinkle on some embossing powder I'm using wow clear embossing powder and I'm just sprinkling it on so that the ink doesn't dry too much that it won't stick to the ink and I will go ahead and stamp the rest of my accessories and then heat set it all at once just to avoid as much paper warping as possible. You can see I made one penguin into a cat and then the third one is a little nurse or doctor. I'm using my watercolor palette here. This is a Windsor Newton Travel palette. I really love this palette because it has everything I need. It's very compact and I just love how the colors move and blend together on the paper. So to start I'm going to paint the base of all of my penguins so that they you know start out as penguins and then I'll add the details of their costumes later. I wanted to paint my penguins gray so I needed to mix gray. I've used this palette on an alleyway stamps card before and I mentioned in that video that if you're not sure how to mix colors or if there's a color you want to use and you don't have it just google for instance how to mix gray and you'll get lots of different suggestions how to do that. In this case I used um, brown and um, blue. I sometimes also throw in a purple or a red just depending on the tone of gray that I'm looking for. So I started by um, moistening the areas of the penguin where I knew that he would be gray. So one of the reasons that I heat emboss this to begin is it kind of makes the watercoloring process a little bit easier because the ink or sorry the paint stays out of the um, areas that you don't want it to flow into. It kind of creates a little well where the paint will stay. I started by applying a little bit of um, the darker gray at the top and then I just used my moist brush to pull that down into the penguin. I didn't do much other blending than that. I really love how when you use watercolors you can kind of just let the paint do the work. I'm also adding a little bit of um, gray to the wings and then I use the um, orange and a kind of a yellow on his little feet there. I will move on to paint all of my um, penguins assembly line style and then start with the accessories. So I started by painting this pig. I mixed some pink so that I could give him a little pink snout and then um, paint his spots pink as well as the little ears. Um, I think that this is a really funny costume um, idea actually and I feel like maybe this might be my costume this year. 
I guess that's what happens when you spend a lot of time with your stamps. They sort of start to inspire real life. Anyway, I'm also painting on that little tuft of hair. I'm using a brown for that, and you can see I'm just using that directly from the palette. If you're not that comfortable using watercolors, I suggest getting a palette like this. It's fairly inexpensive, and like I said, you can mix any color you need. I find these watercolors very forgiving, and I really enjoy using them. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start painting my cat. I will come back to it later. I didn't think ahead to exactly how I wanted to paint this cat, and thinking of it now, I really wish I would have just gone for like really black ears and made him kind of kind of like a black cat with a little pink nose. At this point I was thinking maybe the ears would be pink so you can see I added a little bit of that um, color and then I decided to blot it off with a um, thirsty paintbrush. That's just a fancy way to say a paintbrush that was dry so I could sort of so soak up the uh, moisture. And then at this point my paper was just getting a little bit too wet so I wasn't able to get the dark saturated color that I wanted so I put that aside and I moved on to paint my little um, nurse uniform here. All I did to, for this one was to paint his beak orange, the little cross on the hat, red, and then the areas of the stethoscope I painted with a dark gray. Next I actually fussy cut out all of those images and I cut right against the black line or in that case the embossed line. I'll come back to that in a minute but just a word of warning, one of those tails that I stamped um, was real challenge to cut out so I ended up kind of hiding it behind something else but we'll come back to that in a sec. I wanted to get some like overt Halloween ambiance on my card so I pulled out my ghoul friend stamp set, the one that I've been using kind of constantly and I stamped using Versa Mark Ink, a spider web that comes in that stamp set, and then I'm going to heat emboss that using liquid platinum embossing powder. You can see here I made a little bit of a mistake. Um, I pre-stamped my penguin so that I wouldn't forget any of the accessories, and then in the end I forgot to um, stamp on the cat's tail. I don't think it's that obvious in the card, but if you were going to replicate this card or if you just want to dress one of the penguins up in the costume, there is a little cat tail as well, and I wanted to mention that. I um, had a little bit of trouble deciding the layout that I wanted for my card, so that's why I went ahead and fussy cut those penguins and then came back to stamp my sentiment. I chose the Monster Crossing sentiment and then heat embossed that with my liquid platinum embossing powder, and I thought that it was just kind of funny because, you know, the little penguins are all dressed up and going out on parade, so I just like that greeting. There are other greetings in the Ghoul Friend stamp set, though, if that one's... Um, if it doesn't make your heart sing, I guess. So I'm adhering those little penguins that I fussy cut and then used a black marker to color around the edges so that it made it look like I cut them more perfectly. And then I used my permanent tape runner to adhere down the back too, and you can see I kind of hid the tail of that little um, pig um, penguin behind the nurse penguin just because I didn't do a great job cutting that out. Um, and then I popped up my front penguin using some clear foam squares. I really feel like Halloween cards need a certain amount of razzle dazzle. I think it's kind of like one of those over the top um, holiday tradition. So I have been using a lot of this glitter paper. In this case, I'm using an American Crafts charcoal glitter paper just to back that orange cardstock. And then I will adhere the whole thing down to an A2 size card. So that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And it is a top folding landscape card, which you will see in a minute. That finishes off my card for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that I've inspired you to pull some of your non-Halloween stamps and maybe use them for a little Halloween scene. I will be back soon with another video. Until then, take care. Bye!